hello friends today we will see functions uh, the definition of function is like this a function is a relation between set of inputs and set of permissible outputs with the property that each input is related to exactly one output for example let's take a function say y is equal to x square where uh, where y is equal to x square is a function. What does it mean is uh, the input what I can take will be the value of x. Whatever value of x I choose corresponding uh, value will be the uh, value for y. So that will be the output. So a function is nothing but when you give a set of input. When you give an uh, input uh, according to the function that is f of x here in this case I have defined y is equal to f of x which is equal to x square according to the function which has been given the output will be uh, given for that particular function suppose when I take for example when I take x let it be a set of values first for uh, first five natural numbers then these are the values of x if I define function like y is equal to x square then y I cannot choose any value for y y will be according to the value of x that means I have defined here what are the different values of x so y value will be dependent on the values of x suppose if I take x as 1 then the y value will be square of that that will be 1 and uh, if I take x as 2 value of y will be 4 x as 3 value of y will be 9 4 16 it goes on like the value of y will be square of that particular value of x so that is what it is tell, uh, told that a, a function is a relation between set of inputs and set of permissible outputs the property that each input whenever you give an input that means whenever you give a value of x for x it will give exactly one uh, output you cannot say 1 is input uh, when I give 1 I will get the output as 1 and 1 or 4 or 1 and 4 no it is not possible when I square 1 the answer output can be only 1 so that is what it means uh, these are the different types of functions which I have listed below that is identity function constant polynomial rational signum and modulus I hope you have already studied in class 11 uh, so I will not take much time in explaining this. I hope you should know what are these different types of functions. Now let's move on to types. In function you have types. That is how you map it. How the um, uh, value for a particular x. Uh, say if you take a set of value for x and uh, according to the function defined you will get set of value for y or the output and you can f uh, map it and find out the nature the different there are there are three types of functions that is uh, one to one function the, or it is also called injective function the second type is onto function or it is also called bijective function and third one is a combination of first and the second type one to one and onto function uh, sorry this is called surjective function so make a note of here onto function is called surjective function and uh, one to one and onto this is called bijective by means two so when you have uh, both kind of uh, function in in a particular function when you have both the type in one function then you call it as bijective I hope you are clear. We'll let's see one by one in detail. Uh, first one is one to one function. The definition is like this. A function f is defined where x is related to y is defined to be one to one or injective if the image of the distinct elements of x if the image of distinct elements of x under f are distinct that is for every x1 x2 that belongs to set x f of x1 is equal to f of x2 which implies x1 is equal to x2 otherwise it is called many to one so first you should be very familiar this is called domain the first that means input what you take no that is called the domain and the range or this will be called the codomain 
okay and whatever function suppose if i take one value of uh, x as one its image is a so whatever image i get no for that particular function that is called the range range for this particular function whatever is mapped only select those codomain means elements whatever is in y that is codomain range will be a b c uh, c d e and f are not the image of any value of x so that is a b c d are the range for that particular function what do you mean by one to one when you take uh, values different values of x suppose if i take take f of 1 what is f of 1 it is nothing but a f of 2 f of 2 is b like that f of 3 is d and f of 4 is c so the dist for distinct elements of x uh, the images are distinct you will not get a uh, same image for uh, different va two different value of x so that kind of function is called one to one function uh, even in this example for different values of x the images are uh, distinct that is called one to one if you don't have such a kind of function that means when you have same image when the image is same for two different values of function then you call that function as many to one for example see this uh, many to one when a function is not one to one then it is called many to one suppose see in this case b b is the image for 1 as well as 2 f of 1 is also equal to b and f of 2 is also equal to b when you have a uh, image same image for two different value of x then you call that as many to 1 even in this case a is the image for 1 f of 1 is also equal to a and f of 2 is also equal to a then such a function is called many to 1 function i hope you are clear with what is many to 1 function next uh, we will uh, go on, move on to the third, uh, second type that is onto function. Only one to one function is called injective. Many to one function is not injective. Okay. Only one to one function is said to be injective. And in second type of function is onto function. It is called what? Surjective function. Uh, the definition is like this. A function is said to be onto or surjective if every element of y is the image of some element of x every element in the previous case we have seen a b c d e f was the elements of y in that only a b c d see in this case uh, a b c d e f are the elements of y but what are the images b c d these are the images for a different values of x here all the elements of uh, y are not having the are not the image of the x but if it has to be on to then every element of y is the image of some element of x under the function that is for every y which belongs to the set y there exists an element x in x uh, in capital x that is set x such that f of x is equal to y you can say a function to be on to if and only if if the range of that function is nothing but y itself that means it should have all the elements of the y see in this case even if it is not one to one it is a many to one function here but then also all elements which belongs to y are the image of some of the elements of x then it is called as onto function i hope it, you have understood see here also all the elements in y is the image of or one or the other value of x so that is called onto function third type is one to one and on to that means you call it as a bijective a function f x uh, where, where x is related to y is said to be one to one and on to or bijective if it is both one to one and on to so now by this you will be knowing what is one to one one to one is nothing but whenever you take some values of x y will be like this a b c d it will have Distinct values of x will have distinct images in y. See here it is 1 to 1. This is 1 to 1. Why it is said to be on to? Because what, what are the elements of y? A, B, C, D. And all the elements of y are nothing but the images of some of the uh, values of uh, one or the other values of x. If it was like something like this. If I say 1, 2, 3, 4 and a b c d e if 
I write if I have a function like this see this is a one to one function because every the different values of x have distinct images in y but it is only one to one not on to y because see the elements of y are a b c d e but what are the range range in of this function is only a b c d all elements of y is not the image for the values of x e is not the image for any va any value of x so that means it is only one to one and not on to if it has to be on to then this figure is said to be one to one and on to why because on to because why because all the elements of y are the images of some of the other values of x i hope you are clear with what is one to one or injective function second type is on to or surjective and third one is one to one and on to so these are the different types of function let's see uh, some of the problems in the next video